this time we'll read the first page of the book, first page or so, and then maybe uh, play a little bit of uh, some jazz. It's connected to the book. The book opens like this. It's 1963, uh, a little community called Stark, North Carolina. Friday, April 12th. The boy leaned in at the open front door of the bar. From inside, he looked like a dark stamp on the bright daylight behind him. A hemophiliac called the bleeder sat in an armless chair on a small, low bandstand, an electric guitar strapped around his neck. He was alone and had been practicing his music. Come on in here, he said to the boy. The back door of the bar was also open, scents of pine and wisteria mixed with the smell of stale beer. The name of the bar was The Frog. It sat near the train switching station just north of Stark, North Carolina, and was the only regular jazz spot within 100 miles. The Bleeder played standard jazz tunes with four white men on Friday nights, the jazz group. The boy advanced slowly past the pinball machine and a stack of chairs. The bleeder thought of that song, Round Headed Boy. Round headed boy, sneaking through the shed, thinking he clear of the shucks and the dread. He noticed the boy looking at a piano, a Fender Rhodes electric. Sit down on that piano stool, he said. You like music? Yes, sir. What's your name? Larry Nolan. How old are you? Sixteen. Nolan, thought the bleeder. He remembered something about that family with the names. What's your whole name? Larry Lyme, beacon of time, reckoning, breathe on me, Nolan. He raised an eyebrow. They call me Larry Lyme. 